The exhibition match between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul has been officially postponed due to Tyson's recent health scare. And the truth is I don't really care if the event ever takes place. But first here is the announcement released today. The highly anticipated boxing match between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, originally scheduled for July 20, has been postponed. The decision came after Tyson experienced an ulcer flare-up during a flight from Miami to Los Angeles. While Tyson claimed to be feeling 100% even though I don't need to be to beat Jake Paul, his medical issue prompted doctors to recommend that he lighten his training for a few weeks to rest and recover. Despite the delay, Tyson remains confident, stating, Jake Paul, this may have bought you some time, but in the end, you will still be knocked out and out of boxing for good. The fight, which will take place at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, is expected to draw significant attention and money. It will also be streamed live on Netflix, marking the first time a boxing match will be shown on the streaming service. Fans eagerly await the announcement of the new fight date, which Tyson and Paul plan to reveal next week. Regardless of the delay, this matchup promises to be one for the ages, with both fighters vying for victory in this once-in-a-lifetime event. In my opinion though the fight may be entertaining it probably should never take place for the following reasons. This fight could potentially be dangerous to Jake Paul as well. Even though Tyson is 58 he probably still packs a heavy punch which Paul has never faced before. Mike's recent health scare shows the danger of any 58-year-old man engaging in any kind of boxing event. He could easily suffer a heart attack during the match. This combined with all of the controversy surrounding the rules under which the bout will take place make the event questionable from Jump Street. If you remember Tyson's last exhibition match against Roy Jones the event was not that entertaining. It looked like a glorified sparring match. And those were two former star fighters not a YouTuber like Paul. So as far as I am concerned I don't really care if the event is ever rescheduled. Maybe Paul should stick to fighting YouTubers and other celebrities who are not real fighters. And Tyson should stick to making money by making personal appearances.